Welcome everybody. I recently got a commission to make a portable carry chest with some drawers inside. The wood I'm going to use is European beech wood. The first step, as with all the projects, is to basically flatten all the pieces. Here I've pre-cutted a few of the pieces already and now I'm busy flattening. First starting in the middle and then working my way all the way down. As always, the biggest test is to see if the board is twisted or not, and if it is, then to correct it, to make it as flat as possible. After the boards have been flattened, it's now time to get them to the correct thickness. As you can see here, I'm busy sawing out each piece so it gets to the desired thickness, and then the rest I will just clean up with my hand plane. So here are the main pieces for the chest uh, done and corrected. However, to get the final dimensions of the chest, I'm going to have to glue each board together. As you can see here, for each uh, two boards that needs to be jointed together, I'm basically planing them side by side to make a good and exact fit. And as you can see here, it's time to glue up one piece as shown here. I'm using plastic now just in case there's glue squeeze out so it doesn't affect the bars or clamp to the bars at the end of the day. After each piece have been jointed together, I just do a final flattening of each piece, just to make sure. And here we go. Here's basically the front and the back side of the chest, and then of course the two side pieces that's going to form the chest. To ensure that the chest is going to be a robust build, I decided to basically make each joint a dovetail joint and it's going to protrude a little bit outside so you can actually see the dovetail sticking out and in this day and age actually you want to show your dovetails especially if it's cut by hand like this After chopping out the waste, the last part here is basically to prepare uh, between each tail, just to make sure it's nice and flush. After that, it's time to transfer the tails to the pin board, which will also then now be cut out.
So with the pin board done, it's basically time to test the piece and see if it will fit nicely. I'm basically speeding up the video here because I'm taking it slowly, also using a block to distribute the weight just in case I start fracturing or splitting some of the wood. Because of the protruding dovetails, I have to use this pin now basically to whack each tail individually into the pin board. And with that out of the way, here's basically the glue up of the box, nice and squared. With the main box now glued, I basically also jointed together pieces of beech wood to make this bottom piece. Now I just have to saw it so it will be the correct length to fit onto uh, the box itself at the bottom. So here basically I'm gluing uh, the dovetail box to the bottom piece. After the glue has set a little bit I will start clamping it together to ensure that it has a nice tight fit as can be seen here. To add extra strength and robustness to the box or to the bottom I'm going to drill holes uh, not straight down but at an angle and put in wooden dowels with glue. This will ensure that it will be quite uh, sturdy at the end of the day and last for a very very long time especially if one has to carry it around and it gets bumped a lot. Right, to accommodate the trays that's going to be put into the box at a later stage, I'm going to use these spacers. That will allow uh, your hands to actually reach, in, reach inside the box to actually take out each tray individually. So as you can see here, this is where the spacers are going to be glued and then the trays are going to be in between each spacer. Here is basically the top part of the box or the lid that I've already pre-assembled or pre-jointed. And now it just needs to be also cut to length or the desired length that's required. This is one of the places where the hinges are going to be that will join the lid to the box at the end of the day. This part here is just basically for decoration. I felt during the build that it just needed something extra at the top and then I added it as you can see here. Last step is just to get the inlay piece nice and flush with the top of the lid. To add some extra thickness to the side of the box, I'm adding these um, panels to it so it will actually take the screws for the carry handles for the chest at the end of the day.
for this part is basically to add feet to the underside of the box. I use a spoke shave to make a hollow in each of these little sticks so that you only have like a four point contact at the end of the day. To retain as much as possible of the original color of the beech wood, I'm basically using here a water-based solvent instead of my usually uh, concoction of linseed oil and other chemicals. If I use linseed oil or even the polyurethane varnishes, it will actually make the whole thing look yellow after a few weeks. And that's not what we want here. With the lid assembled, one of the last pieces to do now is basically the chain that will keep the lid from falling all the way back down. And last but not least, it's now time to add the carry handles on each side of the chest. Thank you for watching. In the next part of the video, I will be basically making the trays and then showcase the whole uh, box in its completed form. So tune in for next time. Thanks. Cheers.